Hi everybody, I'm Karen from Pedro's Plex and Pretty Things. Um, I've got loads of things to show you. So I will just give it a couple of seconds to let some people join. Hello everybody. Um, start off with the special things that I've got for today. Um, some of you might already know about the wisteria theme for today and Sophie asked us to make something with a wisteria theme um, so I've made these hand painted hooks each one's got a baby blue base um, with just a little bit of glitter I don't know if you can, oh there you go I don't know if you can see um, and hand painted wisteria on the top um, these will be made to order. I do have quite a lot that are ready to go, um, but there will be a made to order line in my Etsy shop. Um, as ever, the turnaround will be four weeks, um, but obviously less if I can do it. Like I say, there are quite a lot that, have, that are ready to go. Hi, everybody. I can see you all waving. Thank you. Um, so just when I see this hook, the next thing I'm going to just move straight on to is small hooks teeny tiny hooks. Um, I get asked quite a lot, especially at this time of year, weirdly, for the small sizes. Um, and ordinarily I say, I can't do it because I really worry about how flimsy aluminium can be. I don't know whether or not many of you have tried to use small sizes in the aluminium hooks, but they do get a bit bent and they don't really stand up as well as what I would like them to. So what I've done, I'm back. Um, what I've done is I've decided to start using steels, which are small, sorry that's my dog thundering down the stairs because she's so nosy. Um, steel hooks are about two centimetres smaller than a regular hook, I'll just show you. That's the difference, but they are so much stronger in the small sizes and what I'm hoping is to be able to offer from about one mil, maybe even slightly smaller, up to three mil in the steels. And that should mean that a lot of designs will be available in the smaller sizes. The only thing I'm not really keen to do in the small ones is the more complex designs like the unicorns and the dragons and things, because what happens is they get overbalanced. And trying to use them myself, what I found was they kind of want to tilt over if the design's a bit heavier on a smaller hook, but it's a work in progress. So for now, what I'm doing is listing the small sizes that I've got separately. So if there's something that you really wanted in a small size, then do pop me a message and I'll try and get as many hooks as I can. They're not easy to source in bulk at the moment, but again, something that I'm really working on in the hope that we can do some more going forward. Um, so at the moment, I've got a couple of the small steels in Wisteria. I think I've got from about a one mil to a two and a half um, and one bagsied for Sophie. Um, and then I've got a couple of splatters. Um, this one's a 1.5. So that's for somebody who's really dexterous. It's not me. Um, and then some vintage rose. Let me pull that away so you can see the colour. Um, this is a three mil. And then I've got a couple of others. This is a two mil. Um, I'm going to show you this design in just a sec. Um, so once we started to think about the wisteria theme, um, one of my neighbours has got wisteria growing outside her house and I kept running up and down and taking photographs of the front of her house. I did tell her what I was doing um, and double checking the designs and the colours so that I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do in my head and I needed to be able to put on a hook. And then I went down a whole rabbit hole of purple things. So I've got... <laughs> Lots and lots to show you that kind of led off of the wisteria things. So we went from the hand painted flowers to um, a wisteria inspired ombre with the gold spatters on, which I really love. Um, these are good for people who don't like hooks that are too fussy. Um, it's got lots of those, but again, they'll be able to be um, a made-to-order line. And then, still thinking about the purples, I started making a whole load of 
the swirls again and there's another steel in amongst them for those who love them um that's it that's another three mil um and then i went one further and i started thinking about the gold and how beautifully it ties it all in together so i did some aqua with the paint flex on too because i think they just look lovely together as i say i think that's really nice for for the summer um and then sticking with the purple theme i've got lots and lots of wee hanging bits to show you so lots of fobs um in the plum and in this color which is a wisteria type color i think isn't it um and then i've got this pinky one um, i just keep mine on the end of my my scissors so that it doesn't get lost if you can see um, but I know that other people like to hang them on the outside of project bags and things um, or attach them to different things and then the bigger hearts these are great for your nice pretty Instagram photos so I've got a couple of these stay home and crochet um, and I've got a couple in the pinky colour like that um, and then there's still lots lot of the pennants left over in different designs. Um, and then I've got a few of the pet ones left. Um, as always, if your pet's not there, then just give me a shout. We've done lots of really lovely different dedications to people's furry friends. Um, a few I've got a few of this style of heart left too, the, the longer heart, which I think I'm gonna bring back because I really like those. Um in a few different colours. Maybe we'll do some of these in the purple going forward. Um so I'm all over the place, aren't I? Back to new things. Spring hooks um haven't been around for very long, but the summer hook should be here next week and hopefully then later on in the year it'll be joined by autumn and winter. And I thought at the end of the year that would be a really nice set to put them all together. So I'm still having a a wrestle about which colours I'm going to choose for, for the next three, but it's definitely a work in progress. Um, so there's that one. Um, other things that are new since the last time I spoke to you, toad stools. These were one of the very first designs that I made um, and I really like just bringing them back every now and again. So there's the hook and there's the matching magnetic needle minder, which is this one. And it comes with the top bit, the fancy bit with the big button and then the wee bit. And what you can do is attach it at either side of your fabric or your notions tin or whatever you want to do. I did a demonstration last time round and I should have been able to show you again. Um, then go on a magnetic tin, go either side of a piece of work and then you just literally just sit your needle on top to keep it safe. Um, there's quite a few vintage rose minders still in the shop too. Um, what else? Flowers, always flowers for spring and summer. So I've put the sunflower that you all really love onto a grey base just to soften it up a wee bit. So this is mine, I'm using it on my flat iron shawl. Um, I really like the way the greys come out, but it is also still available in the nice green as well with the bees. And then last time a few of you asked whether or not I had any beehives to show you. Um, so here we are. These are probably still my most popular design. Um, I've done them in a few colours over the years, but really this neutral colour is the most popular. And there's the hook and then again there's a matching needle minder um this one's still on the traditional button so you've got loads of space for your needle um what else have i got to show you i've been asked a lot about dragons dragons were a design that i made a long long time ago and they were so complicated and they were so time consuming that I couldn't carry on doing them all of the time. But now the schools are back, children are back, we're heading back into normality, dragons are back. I 
I've got, I think, five completed designs um, that will be there over the next couple of weeks, but there's two available as I made to order line just now. So first of all, I've got the pink with the aqua, and if I just slowly spin them round, you should hopefully be able to see the detail. And Sun Dragon, which um, I listed yesterday and you were all absolutely loving, so thank you very much. Um, so he's there, he's my favourite at the moment. And I'm delighted with how well received he's been. So a few more colours, but as always, if you were thinking of a specific colour or you really had something in mind, then please do let me know. Um, just a few minutes left. So other things that I've got that are still really popular. Um, Northern Lights. I only list these as ready to ship purely because everyone looks slightly different. They're all hand mixed. So there are lots of those. Just keep your eye out each week. There's normally a few pop up when I get time to do the listings. I really love this with the glitter. It makes me think of the stars in the night sky. Um, lots and lots of swirly hooks in lots of different colours. Um, which are great all year round and a few neons just starting to creep in um, flowers this design is available in I think about 8 different colours but this is my this is my current favourite um, just quickly before we finish um, last time a few of you asked about yarn ball hooks there are still lots of yarn balls these two are available and they're still a grey um, as a made to order um, but the rose gold at the moment is the one that's the most popular and there's a needle minder that matches this one. Um, and other things that I thought you might love. Still got happy clouds. Still lots of rainbows. Um, still got the rainbow needle minders in, in the set, which are great. Um, especially if you do um, stitching of any kind, small stitching, and you need multiple needle minders. This is the style of the needle minder that goes with the flower that I just showed you. Um, I feel like I had loads of things that I wanted to show you and now I've run out of time. Um, what else? Oh, keychains. Still got a few of these in the leopard print and in solid colours. There are a few more of those as well. And at this time of year, always the tiny ones that you can put in your pocket. Um, so hello everybody I feel like I missed some comments and hellos and stuff because um, time just ran out with me <laughs> so much choice yeah I try and have lots of different things because everybody likes different things and because I've got a new favourite every day I'm always falling in love with something new and abandoning everything else and then I go back to the beginning and start again so it's nice to have a range but at the moment almost everything in Etsy is um, made to order if you're ready to ship things, um, but there's over a hundred listings, so there's loads and loads of choice, um, and I'll get going with the tiny hooks for you all. So I think that's about it. Thank you all for watching and making it so much easier than it it seems to begin with, because it's really nerve wracking to come on here and speak to you for fifteen minutes. But thank you. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Bye.